One I want to spend a bit more time talking about is the MS-20, classic semi-modular subtractive synth from 1978. MS-20, so here's the fully functional MS-20, including the patch panel, which is totally alive and patchable. And one of the cool things you could do with the original MS-20 was plug in an external audio source, and it would figure out the pitch of the audio being plugged in and convert that to a control voltage signal, which you could route to the oscillators and actually play the synth using an audio source instead of the keys. Really cool kind of trippy thing for 1978. Um, not totally perfect, you know, a couple, a bit rough around the edges, but, you know, it wasn't really current modern digital technology, but pretty cool for 1978. And just to show you what a um, accurate, faithful emulation uh, it is in the in the Nautilus here, I've actually um, I've borrowed my buddy Steve Lane here. He's going to plug in a bass, and he's going to um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to trigger the oscillators using his bass signal. It'll be a bit of an experiment. I think he's contractually obligated to not show his face, so he's just kind of loitering off camera there. <laughs> so never mind the man behind the curtain. Let me just call up a bass patch. Here we go. And I just got to do a bit of patching, so bear with me, folks. Let's just um, enable the audio a bit. Oh yeah, it's on. Just play a couple of notes for me, Steve. Yep. All right. Now we'll go back to the program view. And on this page, we tell it to listen to audio inputs one and two. As the input source, jump back to the patch panel. Here's the kind of squelchy acid bass patch. Now let's just do a bit of patching. Can we see the screen here? Cool. I'm going to take the external audio in, into the MS-20 signal in, then go from the frequency to voltage CV out, to the oscillators CV in, and then from the trigger out to the oscillators trigger in. So it's gonna trigger the envelope every time. Hopefully, he gets a note. I gotta hold down a key to let it actually happen. This is always a brave thing to do live on camera, isn't it? Oh yeah. Let's just tune it up a little bit. Oh yeah. It's almost alive. Hey. Amazing. How long is it going to keep you on for? <laughs> Again, you get some um, surprising results sometimes. That's just one patch. There are a bunch of settings here you can fine tune, like a low cut filter to kind of clean up the signal a little bit, depending on what you've got plugged in. Um, but pretty cool, we've just got a bass going through a preamp right into the Nautilus's audio input. And um, yeah, it's triggering the oscillators. It's all live, let me tweak the filter cutoff. Let me try to turn the threshold a bit. <laughs> Fantastic. What do you reckon? Pretty cool? Yeah, it works. Steve was a skeptic. He didn't know, he didn't think this would work. But hey, it works. Nice. I'm impressed. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. You can sit down there. Uh, yeah, so like I say, really capable synthesizer. This is just one of the nine engines, but they've gone to such detail in emulating it. You can do all the same tricks you can do on the original, including all that cool patching stuff. So really fun.